Hi boys and girls, this is Mr. Yates. In this video, we're going to be going over the uh, answer to the word problem of the day for Tuesday, May 12th. Um, got my paper ready to go. We'll go ahead and delve into this one. Uh, let's first of all take a look at the actual word problem itself. We're going to read it first and then we'll go ahead and uh, put together an answer sentence. A local restaurant offers a deal if you purchase three medium pizzas, you get two side dishes for free. If you get a total of eight side dishes, how many pizzas did you buy? This is actually kind of a throwback. We did this one a while ago, and I brought it back this time. I'm going to go ahead and take a look at my uh, question. If you get a total of eight side dishes, how many pieces did you buy? Uh, you could say, you could add it, make it even longer. If you get a total of eight side dishes, You would buy, and that makes it sound a little bit better, you would buy blank pizzas. And there's my answer sense. Pizzas is definitely needs to be in there. Same with buy. Um, if you have this whole part about it, if you get a total of eight side dishes, great. That's actually more detail for your answer sense. On this one, boys and girls, um, the answer is going to be most, uh, actually, you don't need a unit bar. I'm going to be looking on a table with this one because a table is what they have here and they've actually kind of done most of the work for you. They've shown you the table. You just need to write it down and fill it in to solve this problem. Now there's two columns. There's going to be pizza and sides. So pizzas and sides. On my table, they've already written out that said if you get three mediums, and you get two sides. If you have six pizzas, you get four sides. If you have six sides and eight sides and ten sides, those are left blank. Um, actually, on this one, you don't have to really worry about ten sides because we're just talking about eight side dishes. So we just basically need to complete the pattern up to eight sides, and then we're done. Uh, one thing I've noticed here is it's like, for three, you get two. Six, you have four. I notice that's increasing up here. Two, four, six, eight. Here is three and six. So I think what would make the most sense on this one is, I mean, I'm going to go ahead and show you two ways to solve this. One way is fifth grade style. We've been doing it. And another way is this style they're probably going to show you in sixth grade. Um, first of all, in fifth grade style, we just look and see we've got three plus something is six. So Three plus three equals six. And so our pattern is probably just going to be adding three. So six plus three is nine. And then we're going to go ahead and add three more to that. And then we'll end up with 12 pizzas. So 12 pizzas, you get eight sides. That's one way you could do this. The sixth grade style, if you're interested in seeing how they do it in sixth grade, I think this is what you'll see next year is you can take three pizzas and two sides and make it into an improper fraction. Three pizzas and two sides. You can take a look here and put blank pizzas, which we'll call this X, and we'll make it eight sides from right here. Three over two is equal to X over eight. Just multiply, three times eight is 24. Something times 2 over here would also want to be 24 so that we can make these equivalent fractions. Well, that would mean that 2 times, well, 24, 12. So x equals 12 here. 2 times 12 is equal to 24 to make these two fractions equivalent. So that's another way that you could find out that if you have 8 pizzas or 8 side dishes, you would buy 12 pizzas. If you have any questions, let me know, boys and girls, and thanks for checking your word problem today with Mr. Yates. Bye-bye.